Meanwhile, in Pikmi with Lefty and his gang. Huh? What's going on? Uh, are you getting this weird feeling too, Dad? The feeling of shakiness going through your head? Yes, I am. Ugh. I am too. I'm feeling the shakiness too. But it's probably not as bad as your guys' shakiness. But this feeling, just to let you know, is telepathic waves traveling to our mind. So just try to relax and listen to see what it says. Because I'm pretty sure somebody with powers, the telepathic powers, is sending out a message to us. <clears throat> oh, stop the shakiness! Ugh. Yeah, stop! Wait, all I had to do was just say stop for the shakiness, Dad? And it would go away? Yeah, that's how it works. I kind of forgot how it works in the first place. That's why I was thinking, like, wait, why is there this shakiness? But never mind. Everybody just lay and listen. Well, the ones that are getting the message. All right, uh, back to doing what I was doing there. Now to just listen, I guess. Stop! Okay, there we go. That works. All right, well, everybody shush. And just listen, seriously. Wait a minute. How'd you get the shaking to stop? Well, unlike half of you guys, I have powers. Like, strong telepathic powers. But never mind that. Let's get back to this. Just calmly breathe and listen out for this message. Attention all Fazbears. You are now probably just getting this message. All who were at the party and all who are not. If I were you, I would return home now. William Afton is still alive. In fact, he's with the cult too as well. If I were you, stay home to stay safe. If you run across anybody with the name of Vanessa, who's wearing a bunny mask, brown on one half and white on the other half, contact me and let me know immediately. She's going around the world to collect remnant and possibly back to where us Fazbear's are, to where I live, with, you know, Freddy and all the others here at the Fazbear's house. There's also another one who is with her. His name is known as Twisted Pig. He was defeated a while back, I'm pretty sure, but somehow he has returned. If anybody at all, anybody, anybody in the Fazbear's, if you're getting this message, then you should know that there is remnant in your body, no matter who you are, if you're an immortal or a non-immortal. Don't let Vanessa get to you or anybody, just anybody at all, because there's remnant trapped in everyone in this single world. Well, entire world. Planet Earth, pick me, just anywhere that has life. Everyone's bodies have remnant. It's a hard concept to explain, just please. If you run across anybody, anybody at all, with the name Vanessa, and she's wearing a mask, a bunny suit, or just anything at all, let me know, please. And what I mean by anything at all, I mean anything at all that has to do with the bunny suit. It's either going to be white or white and brown. If it's not that, then it's a mix of colors. And just know that the main part is white. Stay safe, everyone. And if you're at the party, or the ones at the party that's getting this message right now, get home and stay safe. Just stay out of harm's way. Possibly lock your doors if you can. And keep an eye out. Anytime you decide to leave the house, just please be sure to stay safe. She's mainly targeting Fazbear's, her and a little cult group. So if I were you, since all of us Fazbear's have some sort of little powers that we have to secretly unleash, or unleash somehow, that we need to figure out, try to make yourself invisible if you go out in public, unless you're going to the store. But either way, I would try disguising yourself, because like I was saying, she is mainly targeting Fazbear's. When I said William Afton is still alive, he's trapped in a weird state. It's hard to explain. But let me tell you, the only reason why she's doing this is because she's somehow talking, speaking to William Afton through the zero point field of his suit. 
And I know I said it was hard to explain about him being in a weird state, but he's paralyzed, and he wants to figure out a way since he is still alive to take over the universe. Like maybe some people have before, but this is way worse than everything else. I already have a plan to take care of all of this. So like I was saying, be safe. And whatever you need to do, just do it. Don't even worry about anything at all that's just going on. Just stay safe is all I have to say. That's all you really have to worry about. Take on things in your daily life like you would always do. Or like you usually do. But like I was saying, we need to pay take precautions. All Fazbear's that are at the party right now, come home. Or go home. The ones who live with me, come home. And everyone else, go home to where you belong. If anything else happens, I will let you all know what to do. This is Golden Freddy, for now, signing off with my message. Maybe some of it didn't make any sense, but I know half of it did. So, please, just do take your part, do it, or whatever you want to call it. Do your part, everyone, and go home. It is not safe to be partying and gathering up. It would take that little cult group forever. But if you're all together, then that's going to be way easier for her. And she will take your life and the remnant that's along by side it too as well. But anyways, like I was saying, this is Golden Freddy signing off. Uh, Lefty, didn't you used to work with Afton? Excuse me, puppet, but Lefty has never worked with Afton in his life. The only reason why I left him for working is because he tried taking my life, and I wasn't all about that. Left to here, he was either designed by Afton or his co-worker, Henry. I don't actually know the full story. Well, I do. We're not getting into the story, though. I was there from the start. I know everything. Well, yeah, I know that. You used to just be some sort of ghostly figure. I forget where you came from in the first place, but never mind that. Our world today now isn't even connected to what happened, like, how many years ago was it? Back in, like, I don't know, the 1980s? That is not important. But, Puppet, Lefty never worked with Afton. The reason why he really even started going crazy and created this little group wasn't just because he was working with Afton. He was brainwashed by Afton. Afton has somewhat control of who we are and what kind of traits we have. Just some he doesn't have full control on, like how he did Lefty. Since half of the remnant is made from him, I'm not going in full detail on how he got it and put it into your bodies, but he was able to take over Lefty. And what Lefty's whole purpose was in the first place, ever since the 1980s and stuff, was to capture Puppet and trap him inside. Yes, I'm talking to you, Puppet, so don't ask why I said your name like that. I'm kind of talking to everybody. But also, since you guys are pretty much almost animals, like human creatures, Afton also used you, so you could kill off the Fazbears with this little group. There's a lot to it, really. You may think the only reason why you ever wanted to get rid of the Fazbears was so you could actually get your way in a lot of things, but it wasn't. Half of it was a part of Afton's control. It was part of his plan, too. He was kind of controlling the sort of remnant that you have inside of you. And just you, yourself. Like I was saying, there was more to the story, but he has never worked with Afton. It was a part of his control, and somehow, Golden Freddy, or whoever was at the Fazbear's house when he went to go chase after him, had broken free. And when he came back here, he also broke half of us free. Who had the control over them. Oh yeah! And it just so happens that I was under the control too. And Lefty was some sort of thing to mask it up from to have me thinking that. Yes, yes, I got it. I don't think it was really understandable for everybody. But wait a minute. If that's the case, and why he kind of became bad wasn't just because of things that happened in his life, and was because of Afton, then how come he still wants to be like us villains or whatever? Or us to be villains? Hmm, actually... Now that you think about that, why do you still want us to be villains, Lefty? And oh yeah, I was broken from the control too. I'm some sort of kind of spirit. Yes, I get that. But just me entirely, I am made out of remnant. But also I'm spirit too. 
He had taken control of me the most. That's why I wanted to destroy Golden Freddy. But finally, when Lefty returned and reminded us of everything, it broke our control somehow. It's a really, really hard concept to get. But if anything at all ticks us off in our life, Afton can take control of that and use that to harm others. And we wouldn't even know it's under his control. Like how some people have wanted to destroy the Fazbear, or just do whatever that's villain. And besides that, whatever we ever had planned was supposed to be some sort of mask to make us think that it was all of our doing. But half of it was Afton. So like I was saying, no, none of us in here have ever worked for Afton, besides Lion. But never mind that. Just don't ever ask that question ever again, puppet. Uh, okay, sorry. But wait a minute, Lefty, did you know all of this? Actually, I didn't. But that is a crazy concept to understand. And also, yeah, you're kind of right about that thing there. Uh, Chef Freddy, I do have nothing else better to do. <laughs> but I mean, this thing of us taking over the world, that was like done as soon as I came back and reminded you of what was going on and stuff. Uh, I already kind of knew that. But wait a minute. When you reminded these guys and they broke free from this curse, well, maybe me too. Is that why all you have ever killed in this world has returned? I mean, like, afterward it was just us, but as soon as you came back, I'm pretty sure it was me and you that came back, all was made good again or whatever? Uh, I mean, I guess if you want to put it that way. Okay, that's pretty whack. Did, uh, anybody else besides Puppet, Shadow Freddy, me, and my dad get that? The message, you know, the thing, the telepathic thing that Golden Freddy used or whatever. Talk to us. Did anybody else get that message? Only Fazbear's got the message. Lion, King Dice, and Theo, and whoever else on this planet who's a Picomedian that isn't a Fazbear didn't get it. But like the different versions of the Earthlings, like the Fazbear's got it. It might not be a 100% Fazbear, but yeah, that's how I can really explain it. Mega oof. Uh, okay, just a reminder to anybody here, not every Fazbear here is a different version of the Fazbear, like our entire family or whatever. Some of them are the true forms. Yeah, like me. Well, there's another version of me here, which I should probably be on Earth right now, but that's not important. So I'm not the only one that got this message, right? Uh, Happy Frog. He said attention all Fazbear, so obviously not. Oh, okay. Well, I'm pretty sure all of you here who are a Fazbear, like Shadow Freddy, Puppet, Helpy, and you too as well, Lefty? Like, in this area, to be exact, are the leaders. Isn't that correct? Well, obviously, I took over this planet, so duh. Oh, okay, well, uh, I obviously came over here because I want instructions. Like, what are we really gonna do? What are you meaning by that? Well, I mean, what are we gonna do when it comes to leaving the house and stuff? Like, how do we all use our secret powers? Uh, you know what? I haven't really ever thought about that. I know how to use mine, but I kind of forgot how. I was able really to do it. I just focus my mind, but there's more to it. I don't know what I'll really explain, but you know what? Don't worry about that. Shadow Freddy, if anybody decides to leave the house, make them invisible. Oh, so that's how that's gonna work. Thanks for the reminder. I'll be sure to tell everyone else around here. So don't worry about saying anything. Okay, but like, I know I can't be the only one that got that message. So like, everybody with a Fazbear over here, real or not, did you like get that message sent by the Earth Gold Freddy person, dude? Yes, of course we did, pick a median Freddy. Oh, okay, I just wanted it out. Okay, seriously, before anybody else comes over here, Happy Frog, you said you have it taken care of. So go take care of it now and letting everybody know. Yeah, okay. I'ma go now. Oh. <laughs> uh. What do I do? <laughs> You're so silly, Picomedian Freddy. That means you come along with me too. You need to hear what I say along by side every other Fazbear that's here. And just everybody else that lives here in general. Okay? Oh, okay. Oh, Happy Frog, I have a question that I've been wanting to know for a long time that I didn't really know how to say. Okay. What's up? <laughs> Let me just clear my throat real quick. And like... <clears throat> oh, Jesus. Anyway, so, would you ever, like, maybe considering going on a date with me, like, one day? I really like you a lot. And you don't have to like me a lot, 
back, but like, I really, really would like to go on a date with you. Oh, well, I have to think about that one. One day I do plan on returning to Earth, so maybe before I ever really go, I can take you out on a date. Really? Yeah, sure, why not? It wouldn't hurt anybody if it's a one-time thing, though. All right, sweet. Okay, let's go. All right, I will see everyone else later. Bye-bye. Wait a minute. Happy Frog, come back. Just for a second. Okay, what's up? Hold on a second. Lefty? What is it, Shadow Freddy? I know we're not supposed to be leaving home or anything, but if I'm being honest with you, I already kind of know Golden Freddy's plan and what he plans on doing with this Fanny girl when she returns and is heading our way. And if you think about it, maybe we should go along by side him to help with this thing, like our entire group. Hmm. I mean, it's all part of Golden Freddy's plan, so I think I'd like to help. But you know what? Maybe we should wait till Happy Frog gets done telling everybody on, like, what's going on and stuff. You know what, screw it. We're all going to help. Is that why you wanted Happy Frog back over here? Yes, because I agreed. Er, I knew you were going to agree with what I was saying here about going to Earth to help the Fazbear's out. Mainly Golden Freddy. And I want her to let everyone know that. Okay, what exactly is going on? Yeah, I know you were talking about the le lefty work with Afton thing, but, like, I'm kind of confused as well. Can you, like, be more clear about what's going on? Okay, so, obviously, since King Dice... Lion, and Theodore, even though Theodore hasn't said anything about it, don't know what's going on. So everyone that doesn't know what's going on, I'll go with Happy Frog. Happy Frog, be sure at, let, to let everyone know what's going on. Sorry, I started there, but be sure to let everyone know, okay? All right, Theo, Lion, King Dice, come with me. Hmm, all right. I don't really know what's going on, but I trust your words, Shadow Freddy. I will go with her. Hmm. I was kind of eavesdropping, so I'm just going to guess that it was having to do with whatever you were saying on helping the Fazbear's out. And by the way, I don't really feel like leaving this group. Do you, Lion? Or Puppet? Everyone who's in this group? Okay, now I'm making it confusing. Puppet, Lion, do you feel like leaving this group? I've finally gotten taken control over my freaking powers here, the twistedness. So no, I don't feel like leaving. Neither do I. No, I don't really want to be in this group anymore. I mean, I might have said earlier that I do still, but I think I might just leave and stay with the Fazbear. But that's after this whole situation is taken care of, of what's really going on in the first place. Just like Shadow Freddy said, go with Happy Frog. All right. All right, be right back. A few hours later, after Happy Frog has the talk with everyone in Planet Pikmi, Ha! Uh, just kidding. I'm fake sleeping. I don't need sleep. I've been fake sleeping this entire time you guys were gone. Uh, I am really tired. How could you be fake sleeping? Oh, wait. You're an immortal. Obviously. <sighs> well, it's whatever. Guess I'm just going to sit here. So when are we leaving to go to the Fazbear's to help them out? <gasps> Oh, you guys are back. Huh, what? Oh, crap, guys, you're back? Well, that took forever for the talk. But, uh, maybe we should gather up and, like, leave now. Hey, help you, wake up. We're leaving right now at the sec- Huh? Oh, shoot, everybody's back and we're leaving now? Well, not exactly at this minute. We just gotta make sure everyone else is ready. Or just everyone here is ready. <sighs> all right, well, I'm awake now. I'm ready to leave. I guess we all gotta sit right here and wait. I'm ready, too. Ugh. Same. I am, too. I think everyone is ready, including you two as well, Lefty. I am. Mm. So let's get ready. <sighs> get ready to teleport a shower, Freddy, like right now. All right, just give me a second to focus my powers. <sighs> wait a minute. What the heck is that? What's what? I'm getting a disruption in my focusing, like the little meditation thing to focus my powers. Okay, just get back to it. I can't. It's still disrupting. <sighs> I'll figure out what it is. Uh, the only problem with that is that the reason why I'm getting a disruption is because something has been stuck. 
in the telepathic wave cycle. Here, let me just get it out. I don't know why it's disrupting now, but it's been there for a while. Yo, what the heck? Am I finally on planet Earth? It's been almost like a year, if not months. I lost track of time. I came through from Pikini, Pikini through a teleporter thingy. Am I finally here on Earth? Oh, it's just Grape Foxy. And by the way, no, you were not on planet Earth. And I'm sorry to tell you, you have been stuck in the telepathic wave cycle for a very long time. But now that you say that, we're on our way to Earth. What is the real reason why you want to go to Earth? I think you told me one time, but I forgot. Well, to be honest, I don't know. But why do you want to go to Earth so bad? I think you were stuck in there for a year, but why? Uh, my Blacklight family's there, you know. I want to reunite with them. That's the whole entire reason. Oh, well, we're on our way to Earth. And it seems that the Blacklights are all there in one place. They even got a queen, too. You can come with us if you want. Do you know what's going on exactly? Uh, I heard it through on my way with the in the teleporter. Some dude with a vanny girl or whatever, but never mind that. I really don't care. I just want to meet up with my family. All right. If you insist, hop aboard. Okay. Hopefully this will get me there faster. All right, teleport us now. Okay, sir. Wait, guys, wait for me. They left me. Well, shoot. I really didn't want to go on that date with... Freddy, that pick a medium Freddy guy. Oh man, now I have to do it. And it seems like it's gonna be a while until they get back. I just really wanted to go to Earth to finally meet up with my friends, the rest of the mediocre, mediocre melodies and the rock stars. <sighs> Oof. Well, it is what it is. Might as well just go back and just deal with going on a date with that guy. <sighs> it's whatever. All right, Golden. Hey, Golden Freddy. Oh, hey, Bonnie. Are you back from calling Furball? Yeah, she said she's on her way back. All right, cool. Just go wait over there in the meantime for everybody to get back. Or at least until Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy get back. Uh, count your name out. Okay? Oh, and Mangle too. Wait, I'm back with the kids. Oh yeah, and Mangle too. Yeah, we gather all our stuff up, by the way. We stuck it in that back room over there. Mm, that works. All the other kids are up in there, by the way. So they can just stay in there. Okay. All right. Okay, kids, go up in the box. Okay, come on, dude. Okay. All right, come on, Mangle, let's go over here. Hi, Bonnie. Howdy, Foxy. Okay, Foxy. All right, Golden Freddy, I heard what was going on. Me and Chica are back. I don't know what Springtrap was doing down there, but he was hanging, like, with Spring Bonnie or whatever. I don't even want to know, but I'm going to guess that Bonnie created a replica of him because he was talking about it down there. Yeah, it was. Uh, did. All right, well, that's whack. Anyways, now that I'm back, Golden Freddy, we are so prepared for what's about to happen. Well, so am I. That's why I already have a plan take care of this problem all right well it's whatever i'm gonna just go over here for now even though we have no reason of waiting here but i have a feeling that something's gonna happen to be honest me too same here as well you guys but yeah i'm back and that's the reason why i had a feeling something was gonna happen I'm pretty sure we all had this feeling anyway. That's why we're all sitting here, but, um, never mind about that. Let's just focus on what's going on right now. Wait a minute. What? Oh. It's just Lefty and his gang. Wait. Grape Foxy? Uh, yeah, hello, what's up? Yeah, right. Anyways, what's going on? Lefty? Yeah, move over. Anyways, hi, Golden Freddy. Yes, hello. Anyways, me and my gang heard about the problem. That fanny like creature thing. About after being alive still or whatever. And since you have a whole plan of... Stopping you with stealing off all the remnant or whatever it's happening. Me and my gang volunteer to help. But also that great foxy guy's here is because he's been trapped in like the teleporter for like many years. It's just been a year, dude. Shut up, he knows what I mean. Whatever. Anyways, he was trapped in his teleporter and as soon as me and Shao Freddy came up with the idea of teleporting here to volunteer with the problem, with helping with the problem. He had the sense of feeling of his telepathic waves being disrupted and kind of brought out the problem of why. And then out of the blue, Grape Foxy appeared. Yeah, I did. And since they were on their way to Earth, I kind of asked them to help me too as well because that teleporter thing was kind of junk. And I just figured that since they're using their power instead of like some sort of machine, it would get me here fast. So anyways, where's the black lights? Uh, they're over there in that room. Alright, well, I'll see y'all later. Yeah, right. Anyways, so you volunteer on helping us out on the plan? 
of what we're doing here to save every each single each of one of us or what do you want to call it yeah pretty much but as soon as this problem is taken care of we're all going back home pick at me yeah well they are except the only thing is that i'm going to be staying here they're allowing me to leave the group mm. all right yeah 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 whatever anyways do you have any sort of idea whenever she's like showing up or whatever yes indeed i do but it's not a concern right out at this moment in the meantime here's the plan of right now everyone including you guys who have volunteered into this. Listen up, when all of this is a worry, I will let you all guys know, or all of you guys know. So right now, since it not it might not really even be safe, everyone is to stay in the house. And if you ever plan on leaving, let me know. I'll go with you. Gotta keep an eye out. Anyways, like I was saying, no one in here is to leave the house. Like I was saying, unless you let me know. But other than that, everybody's to stay in their rooms, or just in the house in general, like I was saying. There's also the garage. You can go in there, but as long as you don't go outside, it's gonna be alright. Well, obviously, but, uh, you never really explained to us what the plan was. Oh, right, um, give me a second here. Alright, does everybody get the concept of what I just, uh, sent them through telepathic waves? Okay, that's just a really whack plan. Yeah, I think we're gonna forget that. You might want to write it down on paper. <laughs> yeah, just maybe. I got it. Same here. Oh, uh, this isn't my problem. I don't have any part of this. I mean, maybe I could help some way. Nah, don't worry about it, kids. I wasn't worried about it. He was, though. Yeah. Alright, fine, though, Golden Freddy. Just write it down on paper. That sounds like a great idea, dude. Okay, I think I got it. But for the ones that don't get it, write it down. I got it. Yeah, me too. Uh, Shadow Freddy knew the plan from the start, but I think half of us got it. You know what? I'll do the job of writing it down. Golden Freddy, don't worry about anything. Everyone that didn't get the concept of this, let me just... Okay, I got it now. Same. Me too. Same. Well, no, that's taken care of. Dina's gang, you can go to bed now. Or you can go to your room. Oh, yes, let's all go to our room. Except Puppet, since he plans on leaving the group. Okay, I'm just gonna jump in the box. Okay, bye bye now. Uh, yeah, you do that, puppet. Anyways, Shadow Freddy, lead the way to our room. All right, I will be sure to do that. Anyways, now that everybody has the concept of this, I'm still gonna be writing it down. Just to let you know. In the meantime, everyone, Lefty's gang, <clears throat> I mean, follow me. We're going to our room. Yeah, everybody, you heard what he said. Let's go. Just in case everybody didn't hear what my dad said. Follow along, going to our room, where we will stay in, for now. Now come on, everyone. I'm pretty sure we all heard him, Helpy. Shut up. Yeah, exactly what King Dice said. Come on, Theodore, let's go. Okay, I'm coming. Alright, cool. Alright, well, uh, that's done, so, Golden Freddy, what are we gonna do now? Like, do you want us to go to our rooms now or something? Like, all of us? Alright, so here's what you all are going to do. Foxy, Mangle, go into the box where your kids are at. Whatever you say, Golden Freddy. Yeah, whatever you say. Come on, Foxy, let's go. <laughs> yeah, 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 the rabbit. I'm coming. Freddy, Chica, go to your room. Okay. Okay, Golden Freddy. Bonnie, Jesus. Blizzard, go into the box, the little box room area, where Puppet is, and you know, just everyone else. Alright, come on you two. Alright, Golden Freddy. Alright, whatever you say. Oh, and just in case you all didn't hear and get this part of what I was saying, be sure to do what you normally do every day. Like, stick to your daily routine, but stay inside. In the meantime, I'm just gonna wait patiently for that day to come. Because that way, <clears throat> I mean, that day will come sooner than expected. <laughs> That's because that day is coming sooner than it is expected. He won't even see us coming. <laughs>